to your wardrobe. But before that, MasterChef semi-finalist Vanessa D'Souza is joining us in the kitchen to put her twist on a classic fish pie. Oh. Here it is. Um, Smelling gorgeous. Vanessa, when people talk about neurodivergent, can you just explain to anybody who doesn't know what mm. that means, what it means? Sure. I mean, it encompass, encompasses many different conditions. Um, I myself have autism and ADHD, but it could also include dyspraxia, dyslexia, um, many different uh, traits. So you you got your autism diagnosis like around two years ago. Yeah. And how has that changed the way that you cook? It changed my whole life um, as well as how I cook. Mm -hmm. So I have always been sensory sensitive. I'm extremely um, sensitive to textures, especially okay. when it comes to food. And having spent my whole life pre-diagnosis, always having to have food separate. Wow. It gave me an understanding as to why I struggle so much. Mm -hmm. um, and this dish today is just a great testament to kind of show how I got from having separate foods to being able to eat things together. You know, taking safe foods for, you know, my whole childhood was based around fish fingers, frozen peas and some mash, all sitting very individually on the plate. Never the twain shall meet. Right. Um, but actually having your safe foods in the right context, you can start to explore different textures. And this is a great fish pie take because the textures actually stay very consistent. Okay. You know, sometimes when you have a fish pie, it starts to kind of con like... It's quite mushy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cod starts to break up. Mm. So this, with the coating, is just perfect. For the, okay. for the sensories, this is just perfect for the sensories. Correct. Right, I'll give it a go. Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get stuck in while you do your thing. Right, so to get started, you would just line your fish pie with however many fish fingers you would need, um, but cook them beforehand. So you okay. can either, these are already cooked, but mm -hmm. you can either pop mm -hmm. them in the oven or the air fryer, whatever's easiest. Um, and whilst that's cooking, we are going to make a cheats white sauce. Okay. Um, and I know like roux aren't that difficult for some people, but they are time consuming. You know, getting, getting the flour, the butter, the eggs, boiling potatoes, for example, getting mashed, peeling them, they can take some time. So boil potatoes with the skin on. Oh. Nobody's got time to peel, but it's also really inclusive for people that can't peel or can't mash with the same sort of level. Like mm -hmm. they might not have the strength. So. Potatoes with the skin on. And the cheats white sauce is just creme fraiche, cheese and some seasoning. Okay. It's so easy, anyone can make it. And honestly, you won't be able to tell the difference. Well, that saves a lot of time. I mm. can't tell the difference as I'm eating it at all. It does. So you can thin it out with a tiny bit of milk and just melt some cheese. I would use cheese that is of a medium strength, so you get that really nice cheesy sauce. Um, and that sauce is great because you can literally use it for anything, whether it's like a cheats, bechamel, whatever. The frozen vegetables. So this goes in, you don't need to cook these beforehand, this just goes in to the bechamel. If you notice how quiet I'm in, Josie. And things that you would already have really in the cupboard anyway. Yeah, yeah in the cupboard or in the freezer. Yeah. Um, and it's super easy. All you would do... It's quite a good one for if you're due the big shot. Exactly. You're like, what have I got left? This, yeah. is, this is a good one, isn't it? And it looks super easy as well. It looks so simple. Yeah, it really is. It's just the second layer. So you've just put on that layer there on top of those fish fingers. Correct. And, and then... are you whacking the peas and everything in frozen? You're not cooking yep. them before like we the, did the fish they'll fingers? They'll cook in the oven. Um, and then this is the mashed potato hack, which just saves you so oh, much wow. time. You just get a cooling rack that you would get for any sort of baking goods, mm -hmm. you know, to cool your uh, cakes. And... <gasps> oh, press. my gosh. That is a game changer. That is a massive game Vanessa. changer. Keep the skins. <gasps> because all you have to do is pop them in the oven with a bit oh. of olive oil and you have some lovely, oh my gosh, let me add those. lovely crisps. Mm. That, that is the best, genuinely. You know when people say, I've got a hack for you, that would go viral. That's my the favorite. best hack I've ever seen. Um, and also no waste. It's so important um, to not waste things. And also wow. I should say, never strain your potatoes. Keep that water and 
Honestly, use it to water your plants. And you know this mash, it tastes quite creamy, but you're not really adding, you're not adding anything into that. I add some butter it? just for some extra okay. nutrition and because life's better with butter, right? Always, always. <laughs> <laughs> um, and obviously never forget to season. I, I am really enjoying these. Really, really enjoying these. So this would just go in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until golden brown. And, and you haven't put anything on top of that? I would put some cheese on top of that. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but not everybody likes cheesy mash, yeah. but I do. It's true. You know, when I do a shepherd's pie, Marv hates cheese, so I have to do, like, mine and the kids of cheese and then, a, like, a smidge like this, no cheese. Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, and my And then word. you should end up with something that's extremely golden brown look and hopefully very delicious. Oh, my goodness me. And how long does that go in the oven for? 20 to 25 minutes. OK. It, it's genius. So easy, These are so as well, easy by the way. to put together, especially in the summer holidays. At times like this, you want something quick, simple, mm. easy. You can just ruffle up for the kids. And this weather has not been great, has it? It's quite no. comforting. Very comforting. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Thank you. My mouth is full. Why does this always happen when I'm about to reach? <laughs> okay. Mm. For all the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our this morning chefs, head to our free this morning app.